Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kat, Nurse Flipper. This is a channel for resellers who sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, wherever, any online platform. So this is going to be a what sold video. The weekend did start off pretty slow for us. Um, Friday and Saturday were only about $150 each day. And then um, yesterday and this morning have picked up greatly. So we have over $800 going out on eBay. We have a couple of Poshmark sales and it's a great variety. I really think you'll learn a lot from this stuff because it's just such a mix. So I hope you guys learn some new items to source and I'm excited to show you. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm walking out to the shed. We're gonna do a what sold video today. It might rain. I'm hoping it doesn't because I'd like to finish going through the trailer. But this first item I'm gonna show you sold over on eBay and I'm not gonna lift it up once I'm inside. Um, let me turn the light on in the shed here. So we sold the other cash register. Somebody sent me an offer of, um, let me pull out where you guys can see this. Of 30 bucks and I paid 10 and I just said you know what I'm gonna take it so it does have the manual I got this from a store going out of business where I got all of my shelves and I paid $10 for it so quick like $15 profit we might make a little bit on the shipping um, they did have to pay like 50 bucks for shipping that's why I accepted the lower offer so yeah not gonna show you guys inside and then I've got to pull a couple of sweaters I guess I can go ahead and show you guys these as well um, these sold over on Poshmark they're all extra smalls that are left um, so there's one and I will um, so hard in here to tell if something's blue okay so that's blue um, so these two sold over on Poshmark for $50. They are the Cozy Chick Light um, Barefoot Dreams. They're both extra small. That's all I've got left. So those two sold on Poshmark for 50 bucks and my pretty view out the window of the shed here. So let's get into the eBay sales, guys. There's some great stuff going out today. Real quick, guys. So you always hear the water running in the back of my videos. This is why. This is our fish tank, and it gets louder as it needs water. It needs a little bit right now, but we can't fill it up because these two guys live in here. So um, we got to leave room for them to be able to get out of the water. So if you hear the water running in my videos, this is why. All right, so I'm trying to hurry before Dalton wakes up. Um, I've pulled everything, and this first item actually sold this morning and it is the biggest sale that is going out. So we're not shipping today, it is a holiday, but I wanted to do a what sold video because I am live tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I look forward to seeing you guys there. We will have flipping Flamingos on with us tomorrow night with myself, uh, the Kelly Hustle, and Flip with Chris. So first up, this is a Revitive. And it's a circulation booster. I really don't know what it is. And that's the beauty about selling on eBay. You don't have to know what it is. You don't have to know what it does because whoever's looking for it does. So this I got at an online auction. I paid $16. And unfortunately, when I drove two hours to pick it up, they didn't put this in my pile. It didn't get um, brought home with me. They called, said they forgot it. And I'm like... I live two hours from you. I'm not going to drive back to get that, but I knew this item was worth over $100. So I said, give it to your shipping company and let them send it to me. Turned out I had to pay more for shipping than I paid for the item. So I had to pay $20 to the shipping company to get this here. So I'm about $35 in when I should have only been $16 in. So this I think is new, but I can't guarantee. So I did not sell it as new. 
Um, and I'll show you guys. So it's like a thing you stand on to increase circulation. And I think there was like, there's still plastic over this. Um, it does have the instruction manual there. Like the carrying strap looks brand new. Um, anyway, so I saw this on the auction and really all I saw was the case. Um, that looks like this. And there's that, there's that. So, all I did when I saw this, you could do this if you see it at an online auction or if you see it at a garage sale or thrift store. I looked up Revitive. I saw they're selling for $150 to $300. I, as I said, don't know if it's new. I believe it is, but I sold it as used. So, I only listed this about four days ago and it sold this morning for $150. Now, the important thing with this is that it's big like you guys can see big kind of bulky but on pirate ship if you do like these are 18 by 18 poly bags so if you ship something in a poly bag the shipping is way cheaper so on ebay it is thirty dollars to ship over on pirate ship it's only 20 and of course the person lives in washington state as far from florida as you can get and i did free shipping but if i pad that machine with bubble wrap inside of the case i can put this in a poly bag ship it to california for only 20 bucks i'll save 10 dollars by using pirate ship if you're not familiar with pirate ship pirate ship is great for either the poly bag items that are a little bit heavier this is about five to six pounds or um, if they're really small and really heavy, Pirate Ship does cubic shipping. So if you have small heavy items or items you can put in a poly bag, definitely check Pirate Ship, especially if the place is far from you, it will save you on shipping. So that's my tip of the day. Up next, we have these Kimbell jeans. They are size 12. These sold for $17.54 plus shipping. The buyer is $27.17 all in. I did pay $5 for these on my QVC palette. If you guys haven't seen those videos, look on my haul videos and you'll see some of my palette purchases. I have not bought per palettes in over six months. Um, up next is five CVS nasal mist. They're going much slower now, but they're still selling and it's all profit at this point. So a five pack sold for $24.55. Free shipping will still make about $15 profit on that. Up next is this Falscara. We have two left now, so we did pay $5 for these on clearance at Walmart. And these sold for $14.21 plus shipping, about a $9 profit on that retail arbitrage. Up next, this is big. So this is another bedding set. Damask Designs comforter set. It is queen size. I paid about $20 for that. The buyer paid $87.74 plus shipping. So with big stuff, if you do calculated shipping, don't be scared to sell it because they're going to incur that cost, not you. Um, I did do free shipping on that Revitive machine to stay competitive and I knew I could get it in a poly bag. So the buyer is actually $118 in on that set. It is priced at $225 retail, so they're still getting a great deal. I'm not paying anything for shipping, and I'm making over a $50 profit on that. So if you see new bedding um, and comforter sets at yard sales, I would definitely look up the brand. It is a little bit longer tail, but for a $50 profit, I'm okay with waiting for a few months. Up next is this really pretty mug. I did get this at Goodwill for 50 cents. Um, it's just really pretty hand painted. It took about two months to sell. It is Tabletops Unlimited Olive Grove. And I actually have some plates from this. I think I've sold one plate. So I paid 50 cents. It sold for $7.89 plus shipping. So about a $6 profit on that. Buyer is $18.11 and on that mug. Up next, this is an item from my ceramic lot. I still have a ton that I haven't listed. Um, as you guys know, I source way too much and don't list enough. So really trying hard to list more. So 
I have pennies into this. I got boxes of ceramics for a dollar. And this was in one of those boxes. So pennies in. It sold for $12 plus shipping. It's an old um, ceramic Kleenex tissue cover. And the buyer is $22.36 all in. Stuff like that, if you can find a garage sale for $0.50 cents or a dollar and you have space to wait, that was listed for about three months. So a little bit longer tail, but still over a $10 profit. Up next, I really didn't know if this would sell because I couldn't get good pictures. So you can see like the plastic is all cracked on this. Um, there are three little carved turtles in here. And I did pay under a dollar for this. Um, it had some handwriting there from, they got this in 2003, but this is sealed. Like I couldn't get them out. I didn't want to take them out. So I sold it as a dome, um, hand carved mini turtles. I put that it was under two inches and took about six months, but these turtles sold for $13.16 plus shipping. The buyer is $18.56 all in and getting pictures like you can see them pretty good now but with the camera i couldn't really show those turtles so very surprised that that sold but over a ten dollar profit on those up next are some more of the kimbell jeans these are size 12 as well i don't think these are going to the same buyer um they are not so two pairs of size 12 sold these are olive green you can see here um kimbell oh, and these were from the QVC palette as well. About $5 in. This pair sold for $17.54. Plus shipping. The buyer is $27.37. All in. Up next. So this one I want to tell you guys. So if you find something and it's broken, that doesn't mean it won't sell. I have had it for a while. But um, this is a submergible pump. Or a pond I don't know oh I showed Home Depot's address whatever um, so it's a pump kit but right here that piece on the top broke I think somebody could probably fix this like glue PVC inside of it it's normally like a $200 pump I only paid a couple of bucks for it in my palette and so I listed it pretty cheap somebody sent me an offer of $30 I accepted because I only have a couple of bucks in. It's a $200 pump, but it's broke. So when it's broke, it's not worth what it is if it's not broke. So anyways, this sold for $30 plus shipping. Buyer is $50.83 all in. They'll still save $100 to $150, and hopefully they can fix it and make it work for them. The actual pump works, but the intake is broken. Um... Up next is another lot of CVS nasal mist, sold for $24.56, and then the um, cash register that I showed you. So cash registers can be good. I made more profit on the other one that sold on Mercari. Buyers $68.64 all in. I'm making $15 to $20 profit. I'm okay with that. Up next, clothing is long tail, but like if I get it really cheap, this was $0.50. Cents. Um, it is Croft and Barrow. It's size 3X. So bigger size clothes I always look out for. This is just a cute little like ombre t-shirt. And I paid 50 cents. It sold for $8 plus shipping. The buyer's $13.30 all in. That'll be really easy to ship. Throw it in a poly bag and be done with it. Up next is some jewelry. So... This was in my copper lot, but it's not really copper. It is, it's got the floor leaf clover there. So this is Lucky Brand. I can't remember if it said, or if I just went by the, I might've just went by that, the little floor leaf clover, cause that's the sign for Lucky Brand. But it's a bar necklace, like a little choker. Um, in the copper lot, I had about 50 cents in per piece. I have been in the profit for a long time. That one sold for $20.24, plus shipping buyers $26.56 all in. Um, so I described this Lucky Brand hammered gold tone because it's not real gold um, pendant bar necklace. 
and it took about four months but it sold and it sold for a great profit that lot's been in the profit so that 20 bucks is all mine um with the jewelry guys it's longer tail but I pull the name brand stuff first and honestly I buy the jewelry lots because I want to find home runs like the $400 little jewelry box and 10 karat pieces and 12 karat pieces that they miss and the rest of it kind of sits for a while until I feel like listing it. I probably have tons of $20 pieces um, but once the thrill of finding that home run piece is gone I lose interest but I always have stuff to list. so. Up next is a giant light bulb. There are two giant light bulbs going out today. So this is Sylvania. Um, it is metallic. It's a big old light bulb. So um, I got this in a lot, paid less than a dollar, a big old box of light bulbs, which I like to get. And it sold for $11.40 plus shipping. Buyers $21.30 in on one light bulb. Okay, so up next is another light bulb that is not going to the same person. It's kind of weird how stuff sells in little lots. So this is another, this is a mercury vapor light. It's another big one just like that one. Same deal was in the box of light bulbs. This one, less than 50 cents in, sold for $7.59. Plus shipping buyers, $14.60 all in. Up next, this is probably one of my favorite pieces. I am getting to know like China better and this piece is a um, like a Nippon cheese and crackers. So it has the plate. I gotta be super careful with this guys. Um, the bowl is attached to the plate. So it's like a um, covered cheese and crackers dish. It's just the one piece there and it has the really pretty lid. Um, I paid less than a dollar for this piece. I'll show you guys the marking there so you can see. Um, it is Nippon. So this one sold for $21 plus shipping. The buyer is $42.84 all in on this piece. Um, it's just a pretty little piece. A lot of this stuff and the jewelry, I would never wear the jewelry and I would never use this piece, but I can appreciate how pretty it is. So that one sold for a profit of almost $20 up next. And I bet you guys pass these up all the time. I'm okay with making a few dollars profit. So this is the old Seminoles. Like it's like the little grocery bags that you get for like 50 cents. But I got a bunch of these so I just listed them. Someone sent me an offer of five bucks. I have pennies in. They are $10.30 in on this bag. And yeah, I mean, it's $3. It'll fold up, it'll go in a poly bag, and it was two pictures front and back to list, and it's gone. So yeah. All right, up next, and I haven't sold one in a while, and I haven't been sourcing them in a while. They can be longer tailed. Um, actually, I just said I haven't sourced them in a while. I, I got this one a couple weeks ago at the auction, but before that, it's been months since I got any. This is a OEM factory radio for a Ford. And I got this at the auction for $5. And all you gotta do is type in those numbers right there, that F57F. So I paid $5, buyer paid $55. This will probably be a pirate ship item because it's heavy, but I can put it in a small box. Um, so pirate ship will probably be the way to go for something like this. So that will, probably be about a $30 profit after shipping. And then up last on the main store, <laughs> this is a really cool piece again from the Southwest Jewelry Lot. So if you saw this little watch, you probably wouldn't think again about picking it up, right? But if you see there, that says Coyote Brand and on the watch also says and this one I'm trying to find um, was it was really hard to find but on the back of those hearts 
it said um, 925. So this is sterling silver. I did pay about $2 in the Southwest Jewelry lot. There it is for you guys to see. Um, I said coyote. It's peyote bird. Sorry, guys. Um, so peyote bird. This is sterling silver. It is not working. Um, I did put that in my description that it needs a new battery. $2 in. That sold for $43.39 plus shipping. Buyers $51 all in. If you see stuff with a name, look it up. It's that easy. So when you're selling on eBay or looking for stuff to sell on eBay, there's stuff everywhere. There's um, so many brands, so many names that we don't know. Like I'm always learning. I'm always building up my knowledge about items that sell on eBay. So you have to look. Um, I don't want to forget and show you guys this before I keep talking. Um, this is the last of the Arbon pain relieving gel. This did sell for $20 over on the nurse flipper store. So I'm trying to list a couple of things on that. So back to selling. So if you're out in sourcing and you're having trouble finding stuff, you want to look for stuff that has more sold than are listed because that means it's going to sell pretty fast. And you don't want to put a lot of money in if you're just beginning because you don't want to have all this money sitting here. So all last year, all I did was put the money back in. So I made profit. I bought more. So now we're at 1,500 items in our main eBay store. The link is in the description. And I think I have 21 or 22 items listed in the Nurse Flipper store. Not many. Um, I don't know how much I'll build that up. I still haven't decided. But if you need to pull the money to pay bills or if you're wanting it for a vacation then what you would want to do is maybe take that profit and take half out for yourself and put half back into your business you've got to build it up if you want to have more sales so last year i barely pulled anything i put it all back in my store and now i have over fifty thousand in inventory i did not start with very much money and i do still have money available for sourcing even though i'm trying not to and my ultimate goal is to be able to go part-time nursing if you don't know nurses do make quite a bit of money and replacing that is not going to be an easy feat so when I, I'm on goal for about a hundred thousand in sales this year and that typically after like I pay my accountant I pay for shipping I buy supplies I typically run 30 to 35 percent profit so a hundred thousand dollars really only is thirty five thousand in profit after everything is figured in typically run 50 percent but once I add in like I do pay my cell phone bill and um, like I said, the accountant, shipping supplies, things like that. So $35,000 um, is getting close to where I could go part-time. And I'm trying to pay down debt. I still have student loans. So if you guys want to know, I know it seems like a lot, but you've got to figure in your bottom line. And you've got to have money to build your business and put back in. So I think I'm done on my tangent. I did it before Dalton woke up. And I will see you guys tomorrow night live 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Flippin' Flamingos, The Kelly Hustle, and Flip with Chris. So come hang out tomorrow, chat. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you had a good Memorial Day. And always remember those who lost their life serving for us. Um, I greatly appreciate those who did lose their life and those who are currently serving thank you for your service i hope you guys have a great day bye i left the door open and there's now a bird in my house so we're gonna see if we can convince him to go outside oh no i wondered why the dogs were barking go go little bird no, the door. Yeah, go outside. Woohoo!